Guys, so we got this airsoft mystery box. Tell them what it is, cameraman. It is the airsoft GI Monster Box 2.0. They looked like they had pretty good guns for all the prizes. So we love mystery boxes. I think me and Hunter loves mystery boxes. And we are going to see what we have. So go ahead and open her up. See if we get anything good. Paper. I already see a pistol. A pistol? Yeah. Look. Oh. Uh. I know which one we got. Uh. Uh. We got the Elite Force Hater and Apex M4 with the Please suppressor. It's the oh, it's not the minigun, bud. But we got two guns out the deal. Yep. <clears throat> so this bad boy. Shh. There it is. Not too shabby. Dang it, this is a one. one. Oh, we got other ones we can use. So there it is, uh, wasn't one of the highest on the list. It was the one I was expecting we probably would get, but we need some airsoft guns and this will work out because we got two. And we will definitely be doing a review later for you guys on how they work out. Let's check this hater out. I got these two parts that go with it. This is one massive gun. An elite force. So pretty good. CO2. Gonna have to see how she works out. Okay, so this is what we got. Out of the Monster Box 2.0. The Apex. Fast Attack. And the Hater. Came with several of the little rotary style clips and of course the Apex come with the standard high cap. Uh, not bad. It's a really, it's very realistic as far as a military mill sim. They really got it down to uh, the polymer has that same finish as the lower end receivers on real steel like the military versions where they're very matte and they mar up really easy you get that same effect with this uh, overall very solid gun it has the crane style mop side stock uh, fairly tight actually even for uh, real steel. Uh, we got the suppressor which is QD. Yeah, pretty easy. Goes on pretty smooth. Hides that orange tip pretty good so I probably won't have to, I probably won't even go and alter this one. Just leave it like that because it covers it pretty good. And uh, One thing I can say is this rail is uh, a little left to be desired. The foregrip did not come with it. I put that on there, but as you can see, uh, don't get too crazy with it because this polymer rail is not too tight. Maybe I might can even do something myself with that to fix it up. Uh, military style carry handle. The sights are actually really good and fully adjustable on the rear. Uh, turn styles for up and down and windage and elevation 
pretty good. The bolt catch is non-functioning except to reveal your rotary style hop up, which works like it should. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, select your switch is it's pretty uh pretty snappy. It's pretty tight. Feels good. Uh, does have the flat style trigger, which kind of really surprised me. It's more of a in real steel. It's more of a high end feature and something that I've come to really like. Uh, of course, the press cover functions, but who cares? Uh, but for if you were going for a military mil sim loadout, this actually wouldn't be a bad gun uh, cosmetically and weighted it has a very realistic weighting to it even though it's all polymer i'm sure it's weighted somewhere up in the fore end reliability we're gonna have to see we used it some uh, i've played around with it we've all played around with it we did use it in a little skirmish but we didn't film it but it seemed to seem to do pretty good uh, and i can attest that it it hits pretty hard because I got hit a couple times with it and I definitely was able to call my hit. It definitely lets you know when it hits you. Um, I think it's supposed to be clocking in around 360, 370 FPS. I'll have to go back and look at that. Um, but it's it's in the neighborhood. I haven't chrono on it. I do not have an airsoft chrono. I do have a real steel chrono. I'm not sure if that makes a difference it should work just the same uh, the carry handle is removable if you want to remove it but I think I'll just leave it on for the authentic look mag locks in fairly decent uh, although I have tried the mid caps I've got by uh, cheap mid caps by a company called blue label and they work really good in the Lancer and the apex seems to bolt catch you inside is a little bit higher you really have to slam it in to get them to go in but once they go in they feed just fine and then we have the hater now the hater is uh, it's the hater <clears throat> it's a lot of people desire it for CQB um, it, it does shoot it's definitely loaded 350 feet per second uh, it's actually pretty dang accurate up to say 15 yards 20 yards it shoots pretty straight not really hard um, for a gun that has no adjustable hop up it's pretty decent comes with several of the clips it comes with I think oh five or six I can't remember now Hunter has the rest of them in his vest I'd, I'd have to get them out uh, we, and we did have some play with this one. We've played around with it. Um, pretty straightforward. It's got a little safety right here on the hammer to lock it out. Um, pretty easy. And really surprisingly, Hunter did pretty good with it for it being a big gun. It's, uh, it's, it's really a big gun. It's big even in my hands. It feels a little awkward at first, just its massive size out in front of you. But once you kind of get used to it, it it points really well. It has these fixed sights, which seem to be uh, pretty well pretty well in there for its for its power. I mean, you're you're not shooting that far, so it's it's not very hard for it to. Uh, not be on target I mean that that distance you're just basically pointing and shooting this thing anyway uh, it's got plenty of rails top rail which uh, you can put a small red dot on it but I, I don't think it's more of a point and shoot it's more of a instinctive type shooter it does uh, it's not really heavy uh, some of the some of the other guns we have uh, with the metal slides they're actually heavier than this and more compact but 
yeah other than that it's not bad for what we got um, two guns out of a mystery box uh, we needed more pistols and well we needed more guns overall but uh, especially pistols we had more uh, M4 and long guns than we did pistols secondary types One thing that I did think was pretty neat was just like real steel, you can decock this if you needed to and throw her back on safety, which was pretty good. Uh, little clips, they just roll right out. Uh, they can only go in one way. Well, they can go in two ways, but if you put it in backwards, uh, you got to really work at it and it will get stuck and you will have a hard time getting it out but other than that lock it in only the clip spins cycles through um changing out the co2 the co2 is located in the grip and it's uh it's not all that bad just a little pull and there it is i will say that the allen screw is a bit different than any of the other guns we have. Most all the other guns, the pistols take the same Allen screw, Allen key for the magazines, but this one, this one is uh, it's a little bit smaller than those, which was kind of odd. Pop it back on, you're ready to go. CO2 lasts forever in this thing. I will say that it is very conservative on CO2. So that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was what we got. And I guess we could say thank you to Airsoft GI. And yeah, they, I don't know. That, that We'll talk about that in another review because we have some more stuff coming up. And we're actually going to do a little comparison of the different uh, storefronts out there offering mystery boxes and airsoft products and what we think of them so uh any questions about guns any comments just post it down below and as always give us a like give us a subscribe and thanks for watching